Hello, what's up? And welcome back to another interview at the Bitcoin Mina conference in Abu Dhabi. This is day two. I'm Adele, the host. Today we have Terence from Humanity Protocol. Terence, how are you doing today? Very, very good. Thanks for coming. We are here to educate and learn about all the different projects that are happening in this space, blockchain, emerging tech. So Humanity Protocol, tell me about what you're building here. We're building an identity-focused blockchain. Um, and one of the key things that we're starting with is what we call proof of humanity. So we're leveraging biometrics to verify that an account on the blockchain is a human being. And right. you know, we it, beyond proof of humanity, we're using that as a springboard for all sorts of different identity credentials that we're building onto the blockchain. So down the road, proving that your, you know, uh, your nationality, your age, where you went to school, different sort of things that we think will form a very important part of a digital, digital and decentralized identity ecosystem. Interesting. We have, um, uh, I suppose, uh, a similar concept on the horizon, or it's already existing, called WorldCoin, as you already probably know. That's what I've come across. I, I've that. heard of them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I wondered how does this compare? Because Worldcoin is also trying to counter the problem of uh, you know bots and trying to identify that you are actually who you say you are using the iris. You're doing the same thing, but using the hand of the palm. Is that right? Yes. Um, I think if we take a step back, um, this is an important problem. I think a lot of people have thought of this as something that's you know that's interesting or useful in the past. Um, but I think over the last year or two, as we look at the, the advancement of, of artificial intelligence, it's becoming more and more important. Um, right now, physically, I can tell that you're a human being, right. I'm a human being, but in digital world, it's almost becoming impossible, right. right? You look at content, it's hard to say whether it's written by a person or written by ChatGPT. Yes. You look at videos, you can't really tell if no. it's deep fake anymore at this anymore point. Anymore at right? this like point. Voice, you can't, you, you know. Even voice. So even so easy to fake, fake right? So, so it, it's actually, from, from a fraud prevention perspective, uh, identity theft prevention perspective, or even just from from digital marketing uh, standpoint, it's becoming more and more important, right? So, and then when we look at sort of the blockchain space where most blockchain accounts are pseudonymous and you can create as many wallet addresses as you want, um, we actually think proof of humanity is one of the key pillars uh, that will drive growth. Got it, okay. And, and back to what you were asking in terms of like the difference with Worldcoin. Yeah, yeah. Worldcoin is uh, scanning people's irises. Right. Um, so when we look at biometrics, well, so what we actually think is the only way to convincingly prove that you're a human being is probably through biometrics. Yes. And there are different parts of your body that are unique. Your fingerprint's unique. Your iris is unique. Yes. Your palm is also unique. Yes. Right? We've decided to go with, uh, with the palm because there are actually two pieces of, of data that we're, we're taking. One is your palm print, which is just the surface patterns and creases of your, uh, of your palm, as well as your palm veins, which is actually the, uh, the blood vessels and the vein patterns underneath your palm. And we, we've decided to go with the palm because we think it's less intrusive, uh, it's less dystopian, you're not scanning your eyeballs, um, it's something that's more natural. And more importantly, we actually think that there are a lot more use cases whether it's online or offline, that this opens up for, right? You know, we're already seeing, for example, companies like Amazon using Palm for payments uh, in, in the US with, with Whole Foods. Um, Tencent's using that for, for payments in, in China. Uh, it's much more natural for somebody to just quickly wave their hand over a device to verify who they are or verify that they're a human being than to necessarily go stare into an orb. Right, okay, okay. So it's like a better experience for the user. But is, is it achieving the same goal, which is to prove that you are human? It's to, I think, you know, at the core of Proof of Humanity, it's also to achieve the same goal of proving that you're a human being, right. proving that you are a unique human being right. without necessarily knowing any other piece of information about you. Right. But from our perspective with Humanity Protocol, we're actually building a full stack identity blockchain so that there could be other pieces of information that down the road gets proven about you through verifiable credentials on chain. Interesting. It is interesting to see the, the palm. Uh, it is less intrusive. I'm with you on that, 100%. Um, how, only time will tell how, uh, how, how this will be adopted. I mean, we have, we, we've started a lot later. We only started working on this a year and a half ago. Um, we've announced a project back in February with a lot of different uh, superstar, superstar investors backing us. Um, we launched our testnet uh, two months ago, and we've actually seen around 1.7 million uh, human IDs created uh, on our on Humanity Protocol testnet already. And what so, sort of use cases are they are they being applied right now in terms of verifying? Right now, right now it's really just signing up, 
reserving their human ID, okay. and then we're starting to roll out the devices um, as we speak, actually, to a okay. uh, number of different countries around the world for operators to start verifying people and bringing them onto, uh, onto our test net as verified humans. Understood. What would be the first use case once you're ready? Very first use case, we're, we're working on a number of them, but I think one of the very core use cases in the Web3 world is uh, civil attacks, What's right? That? Civil attacks. Anti civils. Oh, right? right. When we look at sort of like your airdrops, right? Like looking at something we call fair drops, right. which is important because, you know, uh, all, all, all sorts of projects are launching tokens and they're airdropping tokens. And a lot of these tokens are getting farmed uh, by companies or people that are, that are just creating a bunch of bots right. uh, to, to, to monetize. Right. Uh, and what we're trying to do is essentially say, okay, you know what? Um, one of the most important things is actually having a wide distributed user base of real human beings. And so one of the, one of the very first things we're building out is, uh, is a fair drops platform so that projects can verify, okay, is, are, are these you know, 2,000 addresses owned by unique human beings or are they actually just owned by the same person right. who is trying to farm it? Right, and there would be like a badge or a certificate because this is going to be an, an, an online interaction. So how can you? You're not going to be in person. So how can you see that this? So we we are real? issuing we're issuing credentials directly onto uh, onto uh. the blockchain so that these addresses uh, will be able to say, okay, you know what? I have a verified human badge. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Is this decentralized? The way that you're just you're this, creating all this? of this is decentralized. decentralized. Everything you know in terms of data, it's privacy preserving. Um, we're so using zero knowledge. You're, sorry to interrupt. Would you say you're more of a decentralized version of WorldCoin and also less intrusive? I think they are being more decentralized, but we are being decentralized from day one. Uh -huh. But also partly because we, you know, they have a head start, and so yeah. you know, we we've we've taken some learnings, time to uh, to build out our solution. Understood. Do you want to do a quick demo of how this works? Or I mean, yes, or I can. It won't be too difficult with two it, hands. It it will be. I mean, if I look Show at the device. The vein side, um, yeah. I mean, if you look at the device, all it all it really is, it's. Um, Does that look? Yeah, we're we're, you know. So what happens is you can actually scan your, uh, your scan your, your, palm. your palm. You can scan your palm right. directly onto the device. If you were signing up for uh, through our test net, yeah. you, you know, through the device you can actually enroll. Okay. And then you become a verified human being on uh, on Humanity Protocol. Wonderful. That's great to know. Terrence, I want to thank you for your time. And this thank is so really, much. really innovative. Thank you so really much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this insightful. We'll leave all the links in the description so you can check out Terrence's profile as well as Humanity Protocol. Thank you again. I'm Adele, the host, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Let's go. Thanks.